got my delights. Welcome back to the Coco Show. So anyway, we're going to touch on colorism real quick. I tried to do this video already, but that shit got to like 18 minutes. And y'all sometimes don't make it past five. So, <laughs> so I don't want to bore you and I don't want to make stretches out too long. So let me talk about this real quick. Um, I, uh, um, colorism. Colorism is a noun. Um, it's prejudice. The meaning of it is prejudice or uh, discrimination against Individuals with a dark skin tone, typically among people of the same ethnic or racial group. Um, I have some facts or um, statements, paragraphs, and things like that from Erica Williams, uh, Simon from uh, Ebony. Um, April 21st, 2014, she made this article. And I'm going to just touch on a couple of things because it was kind of taking me a long time. But I want to talk about um, a story that happened when I was in Puerto Rico um, real quick because we already know the light skin, dark skin thing is just ridiculous, right? And it's been going on for years. It's, it's not no thing. And it started from slavery. And that's another point that Erica made um, in her article. Um, it started back in slavery when they had the light skin, you know, in the house doing domestic stuff, you know, cleaning, cooking. And guess what, guess what was still happening? Oh, they were still being beaten, raped. And then the doctor told people, you know, they was outside, they was picking the cotton, they was, you know, probably tending to the animals, tending to the food, the crops, whatever, whatever, and doing whatever master said. But guess what? They were still being beaten and raped. Okay? Dark skin, light skin, brown skin, whatever. We all were tormented. Yes, yeah, some of us might have been outside, some of us might have been inside, but guess what? We were all still considered black. And we were all still taken advantage of and used. So let's get that mentality together. Okay? So, um... Colorism doesn't just impact women. Yes, but dark skin men, I'm um, a point that she made, dark skin men, and then let me get back to this point in Puerto Rico or whatever. Um, dark skin men, uh, men also go through it too, you know what I'm saying? Because like the boys in school, let's go to school with this. Because when you seem to get grown, you know, eh, you know, it might die out, you know. Once the guys start getting some pussy, then they don't really care. So when they're younger, you know, you look at the, the the teachers might look at the little dark skin boy and feel like, oh, he just bad or he this that and the third, but the light skin one, oh, he's sensitive and stuff like that. And so it was a whole thing, a whole mental thing, like the darker skin tone dudes, they rough and they tough, they're gonna fuck you up. But then the lighter skin boys are like, Oh no, yes, ma'am, oh, oh, oh lies, all oh, lies, cause shit. Light skin, I don't know if when they get older, they might be trying to prove themselves or something or prove it to, you know, people like they not no salty. My baby father comes to mind. But anyway, <clears throat> um, and then uh, she has another point that says every dark skin woman, woman didn't at one point hate herself. And that's very true because that's what we didn't even realize this shit until not we, but me. I mean, I really didn't even really pay no attention. Probably until I became a teenager. And then it was a thing. Plus, I was always a big girl. So, I was always the tallest one. I was always the biggest one. I was always the darkest one. You know what I'm saying? So, I went through it. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, she says, um, it's just not it's not just an African-American problem. And it's not. And then she says, um, check out, you know, the, the issues with the complexion in India and in China and stuff like that. And it's like, it's a problem. Um, and ending... Colorism isn't about finding a man or wanting to be chosen, my ladies. Like, it's not about that because guess what? Fuck boys come in all shapes, colors, sizes, whatever. And they be going for all shapes, sizes, colors, all of that shit. So don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you about this Puerto Rico thing real quick before this video gets too long. So we was in Puerto Rico, right? I was with my same travel group. I always travel with them. I love them. They do the ratchet group. That's, the, that's what I call y'all. If you ever see this video, I'll be like, yeah, we getting ready to go to so-and-so. Yeah, this is my ratchet crew. I love them. We about to go travel. Trust me. That's what I say every time. So, and which we getting ready to go to Miami. But we went to Puerto Rico. And my friend's daughter, we was all in the car and then a couple other people. And um, as we was driving, you know, we in a whole never, well, I don't want to say country. <laughs> but, you know, we in Puerto Rico. So... Uh, well, you know, but we, uh, ended up, uh, going to the store or whatever. And my friend daughter was like, why they keep looking at me? I ain't dark skin. You talk about pissed off, bitch. You talk about what the fuck did, did you mean by that? So because you dark skin 
or basically because you're not of a light complexion, you as a dark skinned human being who bleeds red should be looked at crazy because of your skin tone. This is the ignorant bullshit that I don't like. You know what I'm saying? And then this guy that I follow, uh, subscribe to named Choice TV, he dropped the vid about this female who was going to fuck off on her Instagram, I think. Yeah, Instagram. And she was like saying that, I guess she went to the store or something like that. And then this dark skin girl looking at the little, looking, staring at her. And then she was like, mm, light skin bitch or whatever with bitches or some shit like that, man. She went to her car and went the fuck off and was like, that's why we steal your man. That's why they come over here. That's why we look better than you. That's why, you know what I'm saying? And it was just like, oh my God. First of all, first of all, we were worried about the wrong shit. You know what I'm saying? Because, first of all, we need to be worried about these niggas taking care of these kids. That's what we need to be worried about, baby girl. I don't give a fuck. And you should have comforted that young lady, that woman or whatever that was asking because she probably has issues with her complexion. Because if you see nothing just saying light skin this. Now, let me tell you what I do say, right? A light skin joy, a friend though. I'm not just randomly, randomly saying this to light skin women. A friend might say some shit like, girl... I, this fucking blemish right here just won't go away. I'll be like, look, that's light skin problems, bitch. I don't know what to tell you, but it's okay. Now, if I offend you with that, I'm sorry, and I'll stop. But I don't, I didn't see it as a problem. But now that I'm doing this, I'm kind of like, damn, damn, Coco, what's that? Is that kind of like an issue insult or something like that? And if it is, tell me, because I'll stop. You know what I'm saying? Because I never want to bring a woman down. We need to be sticking together for real, for real. Like, it's other issues besides our complexion. And fuck a nigga who don't want to talk to you because of your complexion. What, we... we Fuck him, okay? It shouldn't even be like that. But let me tell you a conversation I had with a woman. I was light-skinned some years ago. Um, I was probably in my early 20s at the time, but she's light-skinned, and I always think they were so beautiful. And, oh, my gosh, her and her sister, like, y'all are just gorgeous or whatever. So um, we was talking have definitely about the complexions and stuff, and she was like, let me tell you something. What you don't know is, yeah, I might get a rack of dudes coming my way and everything, but she is attractive, too, because trust me, ugly comes in dark, light, brown, all that. It's all into the eye of the beholder. I'm pretty sure people are looking at it like, bitch, you ain't shit. You ain't cute. Look at you. That's fine, baby. That's fine. Cause you're not the one for me anyway. You know, cause mine's going to love me. So anyway, and everything about me. So she was like, the, the thing is, you don't really know, you know, if they like you for you for real. <laughs> Mine ain't never crossed, it ain't never crossed my mind that you, y'all had issues. Light skin joints never crossed, it never crossed my mind. And then I was watching, um, Love of Hip Hop New York and Tip was saying, um, she was like, and as a light skinned woman, like, or girl or whatever, I had to always do the extra, like, to prove my blackness. Now, I really don't feel like, and this is messed up, but I'm kind of like, damn, did it, did that bother you that much? You know what I'm saying? Because there's a difference. Because when you're younger and you, you want to be looked at and wanted, you know, because you don't know no better when you're younger, you know. And it's like, well, actually, you were being chosen, you know what I'm saying? So, as my as a dark skin woman, I'm like, was that really a big issue? But it was. Why am I going to bring your issue down to this, but mine is supposed to be like this? No. If that was the issue, you know what I'm saying? That was her issue. And the problem is, why are we allowing society... To fuck with us like this. I, listen, if you got the light skinned bitches, look at, um, so a choice made a, a point to say, like, you know, Lil Wayne, like, you know, oh, I was watching, was it his, some, something, channel? I don't know. But the, the, um, Lil Wayne saying, you know, I like them thick red bone. Oh, no, no, no. I was watching something on Instagram. It wasn't on, um, choice TV. So, um, he was like, I like, I like them thick, thick, uh, something red bone or whatever, and, and the lady on Instagram, she made it a point to be like, well, what about your daughter? What about your baby mother? Like, are you not... What are you saying about them? You know what I'm saying? So, it's just a thing of like, we gotta, we gotta come together as black people and get over this bullshit, because let me tell you something. People ain't shit <laughs> at the end of the day. You know what I mean? You got to love yourself. You got to love your skin. You're in. Don't worry about you got young ladies. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to prove shit to nobody but yourself. To your to yourself. You know what I mean? People going to like you and not like you. Period. Oh, I get niggas. But guess what I got? A box. Uh, you going to get one. 
but make sure it's the right one. You know what I'm saying? Listen, to my uh, rappers and singers and shit who probably ain't gonna see this either. It's like, love us, motherfucker. Love us. Because at the end of the day, we're women. We're, we're your neck. We're the ones that's gonna support you and love you no matter what. And the funny thing is, all y'all that's glorifying this type of complexion, whole time, your wife, your wife, though, may not be, might not, not even be that. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep it open. But I do understand some things because... Being younger and going through the whole light skin, dark skin thing, uh, and just not being comfortable with my complexion. Um, yeah, I had to think of, I, I like light skin dudes. Um, and, uh, yes, I don't want, I want, yes, I would love light skin, dark skin, kid, you know, kids, a little light, lighter than me, please, because I didn't want them to struggle. I didn't want my daughter to feel how I felt growing up. I didn't want her to have to feel the, the discrimination because of your complexion with your own people. That shit sounds so stupid. So fucking dumb. Listen, you like what you like and that's okay. But hopefully you grow up and stop looking on the outside and understand that it's more about what's on the inside. Now, there's other people you're not going to be attracted to. You know what I'm saying? That's just life. You know what I mean? But at the same time, why are you putting yourself just in this box of, no, this is it. This is all I'm going to date. That's where you fuck up. That's where you fuck up because you probably done missed your husband. You probably done missed your wife with this dumbass mentality. You know what I'm saying? So as a people, I just want to say, let's do better. You know what I'm saying? Like, let, let's get it together. Let's come together. How dare we fight amongst each other when we got the others to fight? That's the whole point of this. Like, we got other shit to worry about. And it definitely shouldn't be some shit that you were born with that you couldn't help. This is why I don't understand why this is such a fucking e a issue. It, listen, if more light-skinned women get chosen, you know, and if dark-skinned women keep getting, you can't sit in the VIP section, well, fuck it then. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Just take it as is and understand that that's not where you need it to be. Okay? I ain't trying to like, listen. Cuss, you say cuss a nigga out and be like, you're disrespectful and how dare you? Because I'm like, y'all don't think about y'all mothers. You know what I'm saying? When you say this ignorant ass shit, you don't think about it. Just love, motherfucker. Love. You know what I'm saying? We so quick to... You know, they quick to throw the LGBT out there in your face and everything. And, hey, to do what you got to do, you know, and accepting them and everything like that. They're human community. Um, but, uh, uh, black people, we need to work on our own shit in love within each other and stuff. And bring each other up. Like, we have got to do better. But please understand that everyone has their own story and they're going through their own shit so we just got to learn to love each other and learn to love from within and then last but not least as i would like to say it's two dollar third friday baby <laughs> This is a two dollar crop top, y'all know how I do. Or whatever. I guess I probably need to pick up some more because I probably didn't wore all up now. So anyway, y'all, y'all take care. Y'all love each other, and just bring it together and have a good one and have a good day and, and stay safe with this damn coronavirus going on out here. It is what it is. Coco gotta go though, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Uh -huh.